So when's the last time you posted something on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook? Did you think about who was going to read it? Well, one of those people could have been a future employer. Job employers are looking to social media more than ever to see what their future employees post and share. Aaron Fields has the story. I don't know, cover up your cleavage sometimes. Nobody needs to be seeing all that. <laughs> what might not be as simple as just covering up your cleavage as Anastasia Cook just said, future employees are constantly checking social media to find the best prospective worker for the job. When I typically am picking up the phone and talking to someone, the first thing I will do is look them up on Facebook and LinkedIn. Operations Manager for Recruiting Solutions, Caroline Culbertson, who focuses on internal hiring for her company, explains why she checks future employees' social media. I also have found just those who have more of a developed professional um, presence online typically uh, are good hires and work very hard and they're dedicated and they stay with the company long term so it's one of my first steps. According to CareerBuilder.com around 70 percent of employers do a social media screening before hiring. Social media can either make you or break you. Some people don't realize posting that oh so flattering picture of yourself or maybe that funny video of you and your friends might not go over so well with employers. While job seekers still post unprofessionally, organizations such as the Chi Omega Chapter at the University of South Carolina try and supervise their members' social media accounts. Personnel Chair of the Chi Omega Sorority, Hannah Kiesling, is the one who monitors all the members' social media. I personally think that social media is a way for you to market yourself, and I don't think it's um, known as that, like, it's considered that in our generation. I think people view it as like, oh, like, how many likes can I get? This is a cute pic. This is me having a fun college life. But once you join an organization that's bigger than just you, you are in turn marketing that company. You are representing their brand. And that's something that I strive to emphasize to the girls. And Kiesling also had firsthand experience on employers searching social media. I had an internship this summer and we were looking for new fall applicants and we were trying to find someone on Facebook and we're going through their Facebook and their profile picture is them holding a beer. It was a boy holding a beer and my boss was like, okay, well, he's not 21 for sure and she had his birthday and so we're sitting there. I'm like, well, I definitely didn't think you expected your future employer to be sitting here looking at you holding a beer at a football game. According to CareerBuilder.com, 50% of employers want to make sure the candidate has a professional online persona. And only 24% of employers check social media to search for reasons not to hire them. Culperson also offered some advice for people when posting on social media. Things to include are, I think people don't include as much what they're involved in and those contributions. You want to be able to show some of your personality within what you're posting and your content as well. Culbertson also says in general to try and stay clear from any posts that are about money, religion, and politics. So next time you post something, make sure you really think before you actually click that share button. Carolina News, I'm Aaron Fields. Social media really is a powerful tool, tool so keep that in mind before you post.